guys, Chaos Cast here. Just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things. So, um, this is going to be a video about movies. I'm going to get to that in a bit. So, I just want to talk to you guys first about like how a couple of you guys have actually been like messaging me, and I love that. So, keep it up. Um, I love hearing from you guys. It's awesome. It's kind of cool. You know, a couple of you guys have been asking me like different questions that you know, feel free to answer. Um, or, sorry, I like to answer. Feel free to ask me questions. Um, you can always like. Um, add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever, social media, garbage stuff, whatever. Anyway, I'm on all of that. Like, most of it I'm signed on to on my phone anyway. So, I mean, if you guys want an easier way to get a hold of me, ask me questions, that's the way to do it. If not, I don't really, you know, it doesn't really make a difference to me if you want to add me there or not. I just kind of, like, update you guys on when I'm going to have a video up and stuff like that. So, anyway. Um, love hearing from you guys. Thanks for all the support, by the way. I mean, I just started my channel, I don't know, like two weeks ago, I think. So, so far it's been going pretty good. I didn't really expect to have so many people, like, even from different countries, like, find my channel. So that was kind of cool. I was like, woo, awesome. Kind of got me excited. I was like, yeah, different countries are seeing my channel. Anyway, that's kind of probably going to get cut up. Anyway, so, um, what was I going to say? I was, uh, I'm thinking about doing a couple different things. I'm just about to buy, um, something to be able to actually stream with and record console games. I'm thinking about doing some streams. I think it'd be fun, you know, I'm playing the games anyway, so I might as well, you know, let you guys interact with me while I'm playing the games. So, thinking about getting some streams up and running at some point. However, my computer has just like farted on me, like, or shat on me, in other words, like, pfft, it's going downhill in a hurry, so I'm looking at getting a new computer, one that's super ultra beefy and can do the stuff I need it to do, so once I get that new computer up and going, things will be running smooth, I can start doing more things with you guys and get more videos up there and whatnot, but for right now I'm kind of on a, I guess, um, I don't know, a timeout, I should say can only really make too, so many videos because it's not keeping up with me. And if you guys are wondering, I'm ultra hyper right now because class was cancelled and I'm really like, woo, excited because I am at home and I don't have to be at school right now. I'm making some YouTube videos. Yeah, that's how I normally am, so bear with me. Anyway, let's talk about some movies. So, movies that I have seen recently. Um, the most recent one for 2013 would have to be um, Mama. So, that's I'm talking about movies that I've seen in theaters. I mean, obviously, I watch a bunch more movies than that. Um, I don't watch one movie every couple months. Um, so, I'm talking about movies I've seen in th the theater. So, Mama, I just went and saw it. Um, I actually, you know, I am a horror movie junkie I don't know what you want to call it I love horror movies I don't love them because a lot of them are really cheesy a lot of them aren't scary a lot of them are kind of just stupid and you're like run them you run why are you standing there but I am still nonetheless addicted to them I like to watch them I don't know why um, can't really explain that sorry <laughs> so um, horror movie. So I had heard of one of my friends is actually going to go see Mama. So I was like, "What the hell is Mama? Like, I haven't even heard of that. I didn't even see any trailers for it. Nothing." So I looked into it and I was like, "Ah, let's go!" Like I dragged my buddy over and we went. Actually, I dragged Craig over. So we went and saw uh, Mama. Now it's not, um, you know, didn't give me nightmares, but it was actually pretty solid like the ending was a little bit lame it was kind of like oh mushy 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 and it was kind of like ah why why did you go and do that i wanted to see more ah i don't even know what <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm just so hyper right now anyway so yeah i just kind of didn't really like that ending that much it was just a little bit you know i was indifferent about it i guess you could say so the overall the movie like from start to finish, I enjoyed. I didn't say I'm not gonna say I loved it. It was, you know, entertaining nonetheless. So, yeah, that was my thoughts on Mama. Um, I thought, considering I just started my YouTube channel in 2013, I might as well talk about some recent 2012 movies I had seen in theaters. So, some that stuck out to me. Um, 
Wrecker Ralph came out in November. I think it was like November. I don't even know. November 18th, I went to go see it, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So, went to go see it. It was awesome. It was a Pixar movie, Wreck and Ralph. If you guys haven't seen it, whenever it comes out on DVD, pick it up. Go and find it on DVD. It was awesome. Loved it. Pixar, you know, never ceases to amaze me. They always have really good movies. They're always really entertaining and really, like, nice to see, like, visually appealing. So, um, considering I want to get into, like, animation, video game design, stuff like that, Pixar movies are pretty fun to watch for me and interesting. Um... I like the story behind Wreck-It Ralph. It really appealed to me because I had grown up playing a lot of the games that they kind of like slipped in there, like Pac-Man and um, a bunch of other movies. And then they got into the newer like game or not movies, games. Sorry, the older games. And then they got into the newer games that you know, like Modern Warfare and stuff like that. So it was kind of cool. I really liked it. You know, Pixar does a good job of making you laugh, sometimes making you even cry. Like, I got teary-eyed, I'm not gonna lie, I got teary-eyed in that movie. It made me get a little bit watery eyes, a little waterworks, but I got over it quickly. But yeah, I'm not, I just, I don't know, awesome voice acting, you know, well done to everybody that was in that movie and was part of it. Uh, another movie that I've seen recently was Looper. So, Looper... Uh, it's hard for me to explain my feelings about Looper. I love the first half of it. If it would have continued at that rate, I would have like loved that movie to death, and it would have been like, oh, awesome movie. But the uh, second half of the movie started to go downhill, and it was like they weren't really letting you, you know, imagine a like epic ending because they're kind of like drilling you with like these are the two paths that are coming to the ending and oh, you know, there's not really, like, a whole, I don't know, wide option of what you could expect for the ending. Because, like, you know, sorry if you guys haven't seen this movie, the first half was awesome, it was gruesome, it was like, oh, good God, like, that is gory. Like, when that one guy is just getting mutilated, that was, like, cool to me. I liked how they, sh they filmed that, it was awesome, the effects were cool. But then when they started getting into the kid and the whole background story behind the kid and the mom and... You know, Bruce Willis was coming to kill the kid and stuff. It was kind of just like they drilled you with so much like hints at what's going to happen that you're kind of like, really? If you're stupid enough that you don't, you know, catch on to the hints, then you deserve to not understand what's happening. If you're smart enough to catch on to it, like stop friggin' drilling us with the damn like plot. It's we get it, you know. Just let us. Let us go, just guide us in that direction and then leave us to our own imagination. But no, of course, they drilled you to the point where the ending was like, Oh, what a surprise. I am so surprised. It was dumb. I didn't like the ending at all. It was just, you know, it was either Bruce Willis is going to kill the kid and the, and the mother or B, he's going to die. Oh, shoot. I was so surprised when one of the two happened. Not really. So anyway. That was my thoughts on Looper. I would probably watch it again and then just stop it right in the middle and just be like, yeah, I'm good. I'll make up my own cool ending and epicness because the ending actually does suck. So, um, my thoughts on The Hobbit. I just went and saw The Hobbit December 14th when it came out. So, um, the first part of it, like, I don't even know. I don't know. The first, like, quarter of it, I guess, is really slow. Um, they go into detail on like explaining the story behind the dwarves and Bobo Baggins and stuff like that. They kind of like do a really slow start, but I mean, The Fellowship of the Ring kind of started the same way, but again, it picked up in a hurry and you were like, yes, destroy the ring. In The Hobbit, you're like, okay, like dragon, cool, but you don't even really get to see it that much. So it was kind of, I don't know, wasn't nearly as epic as the Lord of the Rings to me like that's my favorite trilogy so it was kind of hard when you go in with like high expectations you know you love the Lord of the Rings trilogy and you're like yes the Hobbit and it kind of didn't really meet that expectation for me but I didn't hate it I would probably watch it again but I just you know I wasn't like so oh my god this is amazing it was really really cool to look at though like effects and like Art direction is awesome, love it, the concept is really cool, you know, all of the 
work put into it is really impressive. I just think that they probably could have condensed it into a, like one or two movies instead of three. But you know, um, probably even one movie. I'd say one movie. But they had to stretch it out, so it was kind of just like really slow at some points. And I've seen a couple memes of like, you know, this is the typical Hobbit movie and they're just walking like nonstop. So yeah, that was kind of just, I don't know. Didn't hate it. Didn't absolutely love it. It was it was a good movie. I liked it. But I mean, I even heard of people like walking out after 45 minutes of watching it and telling people it was like the worst movie they had ever seen. I don't agree with that. I, th I think it was still interesting enough to watch it. I sat through it for like, you know, three hours or whatever length of time that it takes to watch it. And I, I still really liked it. It was a good movie. Um, so... Yeah, that was my little blip on movies so far, because I can't really think of any other... Oh, actually, no, no, that's not true. Zero Dark Thirty was a good movie. Um, it, it was really good. Um, just about how um, the Americans were able to capture uh, Osama Bin Laden. So, you know, you obviously know the outcome, the ending, but how they got to that is, you know something that's not exactly common knowledge so it's kind of cool to watch it and how much they fought like there's a couple torture scenes so if you're really like faint of heart don't watch them but you know they're not insanely graphic like there's not a lot of gore it's just more like ooh, you're being tortured that sucks um but yeah uh it was a really really good movie it was kind of slow at first like i found it was kind of slow because you already know that what's going to happen in the end so you're just waiting to see the ending but um no, like, it was it was a good movie. I liked it. Um, yeah, so I think that is now the end of the blip, 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 yeah, blip, movie blip. Yeah, because I can't think of any other movies, really, that are coming to the top of my mind about really epic movies that stuck. I mean, I've seen a lot of crappy movies, like, oh, what was the last one I've seen? Insidious. Um, that one sucked. The Silent Hill movie wasn't the best, either. That one was kind of like, mm hmm. I like the first one better, even though first one it wasn't even really amazing to start either so um actually the resident evil movie wasn't too bad i didn't mind that one um i think it was the fifth one yeah the fifth resident evil movie um you know i really like zombie movies you'll know that i love zombies like any game that you recommend to me that has lots of zombies i've already played a shit ton of them a blip ton of them blip 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 didn't say that um i've already played a lot of zombie movies so or zombie games so if there's any that you think that i haven't played go ahead and message me down below um so yeah zombie movies love them uh it was good i liked it it was it was kind of like the fourth movie was really really bad i did not like the fourth movie it was slow predictable kind of like lame but they i think they kind of realized they were going downhill and then they picked it back up for the fifth one so the fifth one was actually pretty decent to watch so yeah um now officially officially done the blip the blip of the movie part so one thing i wanted to say was a lot of people have been asking me about my intro so intro video at the starting of every one of my videos um was done by me uh you know in flash really basic I have never used Flash before really, so that was kind of just a really general knowledge of how to use, you know, Adobe products in general, like Photoshop is obviously something I do in my program. So, um, you know, I'll probably work on another video that, or another intro, sorry, that's better than this one, but, you know, a lot of people have been asking me who made it, so just wanted to let you guys know I made it. Um, I did not make the music for it, so there's been two music, um, I don't know, segments that have been playing in my intros. One of them was by Hydroactive, so that was in my first video, and the first, I think, four videos that I made. Um, so that was his music, not mine. Not not mine. Hi Hydroactive. I have no musical talent. Um, and then the second one was by R underscore Shard, and you can follow him on Twitter. Um, yeah, he's awesome. Slap that together for me. So, yeah, it was really cool. So, music not by me. Those guys, not me, those guys. My sister has the musical talent in the family. I do not. However, I possess the ability to play video games because she cannot run straight and shoot something that isn't even moving. She's terrible. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, she is terrible at video games. I kick her butt any day. But yeah, she's really good at like button masher games. She kicks my butt all the time. I don't even know how. But yeah. So. <laughs> That is it, I suppose. Um, 
like I said earlier, I love hearing from you guys. So if you guys want me to, you know, make a video on something, let me know. Um, also, you know, a couple of you guys have asked me to play on your servers, on Minecraft. Love that. I've actually played on one of the servers so far. So, actually two of them. Yeah, two of the servers so far. So, yeah. It's really cool. I'm probably going to have some videos up on that stuff soon. Um, being really, like, bleh, scatterbrained over here. Um, I don't even know if I talked to you guys about streaming yet. Mm, I don't even know. I'll see if I...